Good morning, church family. It's good to be with you this morning. I'm looking forward to Sunday. I get to preach this Sunday, which I don't do often, and I uh, I face it with fear and trembling because it's a huge responsibility, but I pray that God is uh, with me as I do that. And I wanted to talk about a little bit about what I'm going to talk about. Um, at part of it, we're going to talk about prayer and meditation. Uh, in our 12 steps, we have a, a step that says we, that we sought through prayer and meditation to improve our conscious contact with God as we understood him, praying only for knowledge of his will for us and the power to carry that out. And that was always a tough one for me. How do you know God's will? Well, that isn't exactly what I'm going to talk about today because there's ways to do that. And uh, if you're interested in that, check out Romans 12, 1 and 2. They tell you. But I want to talk about meditation Christian meditation isn't exactly the same as other forms of meditation in other religions. It, it's not a situation where you blank out and let anything pop in. And uh, Paul gives us good instructions on meditation uh, in Philippians uh, chapter 4, verse 8. And I'm going to read that to you right now and then talk about it just a little bit more and, and hope that you have a blessed day the rest of the day after you, after you hear this. He says in verse 8, Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. So we're not being told to just blank out and wait for something to happen. Uh, unfortunately, there's a higher power. There's also a lower one. And it left inside this brain of mind, uh, things can pop in. So it's important for me when I meditate on God's word, meditate on God's word, to meditate on the good things that he's done in my life, to meditate on uh, a daily devotional that I might be reading, to maybe on one of our refreshes during the week, maybe on uh, the, something from pastor's sermon over the weekend. There's always something that, that, that I can face and focus on the good things that God has done. And it gives me this attitude of gratitude. It strengthens my walk with God, and it helps me focus on the good. It's so easy to focus on negative things. It is so very easy to be focused on things that distract us from what God has for us. And literally, we can make ourselves miserable. And the thing that really helps me with this is to meditate on whatever things are good, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are pure, whatever things are of good report. As I meditate on those things, my little problems seem a lot smaller. My little things that I want to worry about for apparently no reason uh, seem to slide away. My temptations become less too. Instead of thinking about not doing something, I'm thinking about doing something good. Those are the things that motivate me and move me forward in my relationship with God. And it's critical that all of us as Christians do this often. I try to do it on a daily basis. So I'd be lying if I said I was perfect. Some days uh, life just gets in the way. But I always find some time each day to spend with God. And I also try to spend some time listening to what he has for me. Give it a try. It's confusing sometimes at first. Maybe it doesn't seem like anything's happening, but something I find always is. And if we really, really give ourselves to this, we will saw, see God speak to our hearts in ways we never dreamed. It's exciting to know that uh, you're operating in God's will. It's exciting to know what his will is for our lives. And um, as we meditate on these things that are good, pure, and lovely, of good report, he helps to us to see that no matter what our trials are in life, there's always something good and uh, good to be grateful for and good to look forward to. In these trying times, I hope that's an encouragement to you. I look forward to seeing you Sunday, and I hope you have a blessed week. Thank you.